I have here a spider. It's not a real spider. How can you tell it's not a real spider? Well, there are a couple of ways. One is a real spider would not hold this still. A real spider would not want me to hold it by one leg. I could hurt the spider. But the most important thing is I would never hold a real spider in my hand. A real spider that I might see in the garden can look very small. Now, there are pet spiders that a grown-up tells you is a safe spider to have on your hand. I'm talking about a spider from our garden. I would never pick up a spider in the garden. I would never hold a spider because a spider in the garden could be very small. It could be very interesting. But a spider can give me a bite that hurts. It's never okay to pick up a spider in your house, in the garden, unless it's a very special pet spider that an expert grown-up has told you is a safe spider to hold. I don't pick up strange spiders. I pick up worms. I'll hold a little ant. I'll hold a strange bug from the garden and while we try to look at it and figure out what it is. But I would never, never pick up a spider. So this is a model of a spider. Remember we talked about a model of the earth called a globe. Well, this model of a spider looks like a real spider. It has the parts of a real spider, even if it's a different size. It has a head. It has a body. It has eight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like a real spider. Yeah. A spider often builds and lives or waits on a web. A spider builds a web with its own body in order to catch some food. It waits there for its breakfast or lunch or dinner. And what a real spider often eats, remember a spider's a carnivore, it eats other animals. But it eats certain types of animals. So a spider we often think of eating a fly. A spider eats a fly. A fly is about the right size for most spiders. A spider might eat something smaller, like a mosquito. A spider might eat something bigger, might even eat something pretty, like a butterfly that gets caught in its web. Just a delicious meal to the spider. Some spiders are very, very small. Some spiders are pretty big. But even the biggest spider in the whole world, the, it can only eat things as big as a small bird. That's the biggest thing. That the biggest spider that we know of in the whole world, the biggest thing it can eat is a little bird. A small bird. A spider can never ever eat a child. A child is much too big. A spider can never eat an adult human. A spider couldn't eat a horse. The horse is too big. A spider cannot eat an elephant. An elephant is too big. And all of those animals, a human child, a human adult, a horse, an elephant, are much too big to ever be caught in the web of a spider. We break a spider web. We are much too big. But sometimes we like to sing about silly things. So I'm going to sing a silly song, and I would like you to help me and sing along if you know it. And there's everybody can help me with one part that you'll find. So I'm going to start by putting an elephant in my spider web. There's my elephant. Pull that a little bit closer. There's my elephant. And my elephant, I have one elephant. That's how many I have. One. So help me sing. Mm. One elephant went out to play upon a spider's web one day. She had such enormous fun that she called for another elephant to come. Ready? Help me. Hey, elephant! 
and another elephant came. Now how many elephants do we have? One, two. Two elephants went out to play upon a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another elephant to come. Ready? Hey, elephant! Now how many do we have? One, two, three. We have Three elephants. Three elephants went out to play upon a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another elephant to come. <clears throat> hey, elephant! One more. How many do we have now? One, two, three, four elephants. Four elephants went out to play upon a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another elephant to come. Hey, elephant! How many elephants are there now? One, two, three, four, five elephants. Five elephants went out to play upon a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun that they played all day in the warm summer sun. So maybe you could draw a spider web. The one that I put here is just lots of circles. I start the circle, I went around and I closed the circle. You could draw that. And then just a few lines from the center of the circle out. That's one kind of web that some spiders make. And that's one we think of a lot, but remember, Spiders build all sorts of different types of webs. Some of them are down on the ground. Some of them are up in a tree like this. Some spider webs are lots and lots of mixed up lines. They look like a big mess, but they're all there to help the spiders catch some food, which is never an elephant. So if you make a spider web, then you could draw some elephants. You could print up some pictures and cut them out. You could use a different animal. It doesn't have to be elephants. I like elephants because that's the way I first learned this song. But it could be alligators. Why one alligator went out to play upon a spider's web one day. Right? It could be anything. Um, have fun making elephants or alligators or hedgehogs or whatever you decide to put in your web.